Imagine this, your next job offer might be handed to you by an AI, not a recruiter, not a resume, but a smart platform that knows your skills better than you do. What if I told you that by next year, your resume could become completely worthless? Not because you lack skills, but because the entire way we think about hiring is about to be flipped upside down by artificial intelligence. I'm talking about a revolution so massive that it makes LinkedIn look like yesterday's newspaper, and it's happening faster than anyone expected. OpenAI is building a platform that could make LinkedIn obsolete. This isn't just another job board. It's a complete reinvention of how humans connect with opportunities. This isn't just another tech update. This is the complete transformation of the job market as we know it. And if you're not prepared, you're going to be left behind. Today, I'm breaking down the 10 levels of disruption that will reshape everything about finding work, keeping work, and proving you're worth hiring. Some of these levels will excite you, others might terrify you, but all of them will affect your career whether you're ready or not. So buckle up, because we're diving deep into the future of work, and it's arriving sooner than you think. Before we jump into the chaos, let me paint you a picture of where we're headed. Imagine a world where your college degree means nothing where your years of experience become irrelevant, where the only thing that matters is whether you can actually do the job proven in real time by artificial intelligence that can assess your true capabilities in minutes, not months. That world isn't science fiction. It's 2026, and it's coming whether we like it or not. Level 1. The AI First Revolution Level 1 of this disruption is what I call the AI First Revolution, and it starts with killing the resume. Think about how insane our current system really is. You write a piece of paper claiming you can do certain things, maybe embellish a little here and there and hope someone believes you enough to give you a shot. Meanwhile, companies spend months trying to figure out if you're actually telling the truth. It's like judging a chef by reading their recipe collection instead of tasting their food. The AI revolution changes everything because it doesn't care about what you say you can do. It only cares about what you can prove you can do right now in real time. Instead of claiming you're great at data analysis, you'll solve actual data problems. Instead of saying you're a creative thinker, you'll demonstrate creative solutions. The AI evaluates your actual work, not your ability to write compelling bullet points about hypothetical achievements. This is the end of resume theater and the beginning of skills-based reality. Level 2. The Timeline Level 2 brings us to the timeline, and this is where things get really intense. We're not talking about some distant future where flying cars and robot butlers roam the Earth. This transformation launches in mid-2026. That's next year. While everyone else is still figuring out how to use ChatGPT for basic tasks, the entire job market is about to get rewired from the ground up. The speed of this change is what makes it so dangerous for people who aren't paying attention. Traditional hiring systems had decades to evolve. This new system is replacing them in months. Companies that adapt quickly will have access to dramatically better talent while spending less time and money on hiring. Companies that stick to old methods will be left fishing in an empty pond while their competitors swim in an ocean of perfectly matched candidates. The timeline isn't just fast, it's ruthlessly fast, and that's exactly what makes it so powerful. Level 3. Education meets employment. Level 3 introduces us to something that sounds almost too good to be true. Education meets employment in a single, seamless system. Picture this. You're learning new skills through ChatGPT's study mode, getting certified as you master each competency, and simultaneously being matched with employers who need exactly those skills. No more learning random stuff and hoping it becomes relevant. No more getting certified in things that don't actually matter to employers. This integration means that learning becomes directly connected to earning. Every hour you spend developing skills is an hour you spend becoming more employable, with AI tracking your progress and immediately alerting relevant employers when you reach competency thresholds. It's like having a personal career coach, learning tutor, and job placement agency all rolled into one super intelligent system that never sleeps and never stops working to advance your career. Level 4. The Death of Degree Requirements Level 4 is where things get really controversial, and it's the death of degree requirements. For decades, we've operated under the assumption that a college degree equals competence, even when we all know that's not always true. We've seen brilliant programmers without degrees get rejected in favor of mediocre candidates with expensive diplomas. We've watched natural leaders get overlooked because they chose different paths than traditional four-year institutions. In the AI hiring economy, none of that matters anymore. If you can solve the problem, you get the job. If you can lead the team, you lead the team. If you can close the sale, you close the sale. The AI doesn't care where you learned your skills or how much you paid for them. It only cares whether you have them. This levels the playing field in ways we've never seen before, creating opportunities for millions of talented people who were previously locked out of careers because 
they couldn't afford the right piece of paper. Level 5. Beyond Silicon Valley Level 5 expands this revolution beyond Silicon Valley tech bros and into every corner of the economy. We're talking about small and medium businesses, nonprofit organizations, government agencies, and even local mom and pop shops gaining access to the same powerful hiring tools that were previously only available to massive corporations with unlimited budgets. This democratization means that a small manufacturing company in Ohio can find the perfect engineer just as effectively as Google can. A nonprofit focused on community development can identify passionate advocates just as efficiently as a Fortune 500 company can source executive talent. The platform doesn't discriminate based on company size or budget. It simply connects skills with needs, regardless of scale. Level 6. The Partnership Power Play Level 6 reveals the partnership power play that makes this entire system viable from day one. This isn't some startup hoping to eventually convince companies to try their platform. Major players like Walmart, Accenture, John Deere, Indeed, and Boston Consulting Group are already committed partners. That means real jobs with real companies from the moment the platform launches. When you have retailers, consultancies, manufacturers, existing job platforms, and technology companies all participating simultaneously, you create what economists call network effects. The more companies that join, the more valuable the platform becomes for job seekers. The more job seekers that join, the more valuable it becomes for companies. This creates a snowball effect that becomes virtually impossible for competitors to stop once it reaches critical mass. Level 7. The Microsoft Dilemma Level 7 introduces what might be the most fascinating corporate drama of our time, the Microsoft Dilemma. Microsoft owns LinkedIn the current king of professional networking and job searching. But Microsoft also heavily invested in OpenAI, the company that's building LinkedIn's potential replacement. It's like funding both sides of a war and hoping somehow you win either way. This creates some incredibly strange incentives. Does Microsoft really want OpenAI to succeed so dramatically that it cannibalizes LinkedIn's business? Or will there be behind-the-scenes pressure to ensure the new platform doesn't completely destroy one of Microsoft's major acquisitions? The corporate politics here are fascinating, but more importantly, they create uncertainty that could affect how aggressively this new system gets deployed and marketed. Level 8. True Hiring Democracy Level 8 addresses something that should excite anyone who's ever ever felt unfairly judged during a hiring process. True hiring democracy through AI-driven bias reduction. Human hiring managers, no matter how well-intentioned, bring unconscious biases about names, schools, backgrounds, and appearances. AI systems, when properly designed, can focus purely on demonstrated capabilities. This means you get evaluated based on what you can do, not what your name sounds like, where you went to school, or who you know. The AI doesn't care about your accent, your gender, your age, or your zip code. It cares about whether you can solve problems, work effectively with others, and deliver results. For millions of talented people who've been systematically overlooked by traditional hiring processes, this represents the first truly fair shot they've ever had. Level 9. The Reskilling Revolution Level 9 introduces the concept of a reskilling revolution that turns every worker into what I call a super worker for the AI economy. Instead of learning skills and hoping they remain relevant for years, you'll be constantly upskilling in real time based on exactly what employers need right now. The AI identifies emerging skill gaps, creates personalized learning pathways, and connects you with opportunities the moment you achieve competency. This means your career becomes incredibly dynamic and responsive. Market demands shift, and you shift with them. New technologies emerge, and you're among the first to master them. Economic conditions change, and you're already positioned for the opportunities that change creates. You're not just learning randomly and hoping for the best. You're becoming precisely the kind of worker that the evolving economy rewards most generously. Level 10. The Automated Future of Work Level 10 is the mic drop moment. The fully automated future of work, where everything from job descriptions to performance evaluation to skill certification to candidate matching gets handled by AI systems that never sleep, never take breaks, and never make decisions based on personal feelings or political considerations. The transformation I've described today isn't a maybe. It's not a possibility we should consider preparing for someday. It's a certainty that's arriving next year, and most people have no idea how dramatically it's going to change their profession professional lives. In upcoming videos, I'll show you exactly how to prepare for this AI-first hiring economy, which skills to prioritize, and how to position yourself for maximum advantage as these changes unfold. So hit subscribe, because the future of work is coming fast, and we're going to navigate it together.